What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and today we're gonna install the Yak Power switch on my Old Town Sportsman 120 PDL. I got my man Fernando the F Train back yeah. here and he's gonna help us out. I don't know 100% about what I'm doing here but this man has installed his fair share of systems on kayak. So we all gonna learn today together. All right, guys, before we get into this, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you the system that we're gonna install. Like I said, it's the Yak Power five circuit switch. And uh, so you got five buttons. You can put all types of different stuff on there. We're gonna hook up some lights, uh, my fish finder and a GoPro battery. We got the two piece green LED lights. These are the 20 inch guys, so nice and long. We'll put them right in the bow. We have some button lights that we're gonna install uh, near the back of the, the boat and also near the front, uh, the battery connector. So this is the eight foot long one. They do come in four foot, eight foot and 12 foot, I believe. So it all depends where you wanna put your battery relative to your switch. And we have a power plug so we can splice the wires for the GPS on here and a Y adapter so we can connect uh, multiple lights to the same button, same switch, um, as well as a power port. So I'm gonna use this for the GoPro so that uh, I can just plug it right in and get continuous power on the water. All right, and besides that, just a little switch that goes in there. So it's a USB to an SAE plug. All right. So Fernando's getting the ship prepped. He's uh, cleaning it up. We're using some uh, rubbing alcohol to clean up the surfaces of where we're putting everything and uh, keeping it nice and clean for the install. And uh, we'll get to it. All right, so while we're prepping the boat, this is the switch, the actual switch. Nice, clean, small little package. And the idea is that we're gonna put the switch right in the center hole here. So this, this is under my seat, so this is where the seat is. I don't have to go in there very often. So we're gonna put the switch in here. In the stern of the boat, we're gonna install two of the button lights. So we're gonna put one here and then right one on the other side. All right, and then the other button lights, I'm gonna put right here and right here. So it illuminates the deck nice and good when it's nice and dark out. Uh, so we'll have two in the front, two in the back. The uh, long LED, green strips we're gonna put right in the bow we're gonna put kind of right under this logo here um about an inch down so it'll still be plenty above the water line and we'll do it on either side keep it nice and uniform and as far as the plug goes for the gopro i'm gonna put it right next to my fish finder plug so keep it all uh together i don't really use this uh this basket a whole lot anyways just because i have the plug in there so we'll put put it right next to it and this is usually where I'll put my uh, my GoPro. Now this step isn't entirely necessary, but if you wanna make a nice a little backboard for the switch, so we're gonna just screw this on here, keep it nice and tight. And we're gonna Velcro this right on the inside of the boat right here. So that stays nice and flat against this foam piece. And uh, it's by staying higher, if there ever is water that gets into the hole, it keeps it nice and dry up there. Yeah, let them know what you're doing real quick, Fernando. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm splicing these wires. I'm going to put some shrink tubing on the connector so we have a nice watertight seal uh, once the connector is on. Uh, so just to, in the case that water does intrude, I don't have to worry about any water getting into the electrical part of it. We just got one more to do. One more and that's it. And we're done with splicing and cutting. We just run wires and drill holes and we're pretty much done, bro. Let's 
so good. All right, now we got power set up. We've got the terminals connected, brought the battery out. We have uh, number one connected, which is the fish finder. So the fish finder's on. And we're golden with power. Woo! All right. So now we're gonna install the lights and get those on the other switches and we're straight. Now we're installing the lights that are gonna go on the bow. And these are the 20 inch green LED lights. So they're nice and long. And again, the one inch tape. So we wanna be right below this. So we're, we're the same on both sides. And we're kind of using the front of the hatch as a reference point here. Yeah. And Fern got the front done. So right equal on the other side. And we're gonna lay these suckers down. So my hole's gonna be right here. That's where my hole's gonna be. And nice. one on the other side. Cool. Gotcha. All right, we got cameraman Fern. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna, what is this, like a one eighth? Yeah, just to start a pilot right. hole. Pilot hole, we're gonna center it up. First one in. And we're going smaller than we have to uh, for the pilot hole. So then once we put the half inch in there, it's not gonna dance around and try to walk on you. And we got it half inch hole for the lights. All right, now that we have our drill, our hole drilled, you're gonna feed the, the line in through your hole. All right, it's gonna come right in the other side. Just pull it in and just feed it in. And you got these threads right on the end here. And once you get to that point, you're gonna use the Allen key that comes with it to push it in. First, we're gonna put a little bit of silicone just to make sure it uh, stays nice and watertight. What the hell do you, brother? Allen key. Okay. Nice and easy. Still some force. You'll feel it. How does it feel? Snug. Go Let's see, bud. Yeah. You just go nice and straight. Let's see, Omar. A little bit more? Mm, just a pinch. Aita. Aita. There you go. And one thing you want to be careful of when you're when you're threading it, you don't want to over thread because once you strip it, then you got a whole whole different set of problems. You got to have to do some JB weld or something on that sucker because because uh, it's pretty easy to strip. It's just plastic that you're going into. But right in there, we got a little bit of silicone right there. Again, just to keep it watertight. So now we're going to do the other side. Easy peasy. All right, so you got all this cord you're gonna feed right through there. I got you on this side. How's that feel? Perfect. Get a little bit of silicone on that sucker. All right, and then when you tighten this on, it's gonna twist the cord up a little bit, so just make sure you straighten it up on the other side. <clears throat> See, we're lucky enough to have two pairs of hands, but this could be easily installed with one. One person, two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Alright, number two done. That's the hard part, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mess with the kayak is the hardest. Yeah, it hurts when you have to drill those holes in there. 
But it's gonna look sick. Nice right, the control. Lights come on. Press it again. Lights come off. On. Off. Fire. All right, next step is gonna be to just line these up nice and even on both sides. We already got them lined up. So we just gotta take off this 3M adhesive that's on the back here. Line them up and we're good to go with the bow lights. So we ended up peeling off the masking tape once we screwed in the hole for the lights however we're reapplying just to make sure we get that even one inch line across the board If you live on the East Coast and you want your kayak outfitted, <laughs> this guy right here, we're trying to come up with a business plan for him. F train, custom kayak outfitting. <laughs> All right, because we need this on the East Coast. We don't got that many spots. And this guy's attention to detail, yeah. impeccable. Look at that. Right. Five. Uh, the back ones or the front ones first? Woo! <laughs> Nice. So what we'll do is, we'll get these button lights buttoned in, and put your, I can put your thing right now. So we're doing the button lights next? I'll do this real quick, it's right here, right? I'll do yeah, yeah. Well. All right, so we'll do the power first for the GoPro, that's gonna go right next to the fish finder. And one thing I'll never do, I'll never put pressure. I'll let the drill bit, you know, do the work. Yeah, let and it walk you, itself. Let it walk itself, yeah. Because once you start applying pressure, you can just go right to the other side. So we install in the power port for the GoPro. Get all day power on the water. And for my camera not to overheat because anyone that has a GoPro out on the water for any amount of the time knows that sucker overheats in a heartbeat in the summer. Absolutely. When, when installing this power port, it doesn't give you a size of a, a drill bit that you need. So I use a step bit and I work it little by little until I have the right shape. To fit this, okay. it's pretty basic. You just go little by little, take your time with it. So we know we're still probably too small with that. Okay. I don't know if you can reach it from there, but it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna yeah. sneak it in there. And we'll know right away if it fits in there. And if it's snug, I'm good with snug. Snug, baby. See? There you right go. there. So, all I do is put the little screws here. Okay. And that's it. Drilling the pilot holes for the uh, button lights that we're doing in the front of the boat here. So we got the first one down. I kind of used these screws on the rail as a reference point, and it was uh, just right in the middle between top and bottom here. So now we're gonna do this one, left-handed. So that's just the pilot hole. We'll size up and get the lights in there. 
Yo, these mosquitoes are loving my legs right now, guys. He ain't bothering my man. Nope, not at all. He had a garlic bagel this morning. <laughs> so uh, he's chilling. He's well protected. <laughs> Five minutes later. Now we're just using the drill bit that came with the button lights. It's dull as hell. It's dull. It's not that good. But it came with it, so you know it's the right size. Look how much wire this is, bro. Yeah, they give you plenty of uh, plenty of cordage. So wherever you want to put it, you're yeah, good to go. I think it's 12 feet. 12 feet. Yeah. And you can run in front of the back if you wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. Feeding through the cables here, the wires. And these install very similarly to the bow lights as far as you kind of just, it has the little threads right there. So it'll go right up to the threads and then you just thread it on. A little bit you'll feel it you know it yes yeah, it's, it's good it's half inch thing. socket Just slides right on again don't don't over tighten this because all you're going to do is strip that sucker Boom. Front button lights, done. Now all we got are the real rear uh, button lights and uh, the last power port and we're good to go. Yeah, that's where we want them, right here in the corners. All right, now for the button lights in the back, we're gonna do the same exact thing. Marked off, it's a sloppy little dot, but I know where I want it. Marked it off where I wanted it, right in the back corners there. I just use this uh, the strap kind of as a reference point and about halfway down. I'm gonna start again with the pilot hole. At least they're nice enough to give you the job bit, so yeah. can't, can't say them bad. Even if it's a yes. cheap and dull. <laughs> Alright, got the full size half inch holes drilled out. One and two. And the process is going to be exactly the same as we did on the, uh, the midship lights. Going to feed it through. And since this one's right next to the hatch, we're just going to grab it and feed it in right this way. So you're gonna have 12 foot of cable <laughs> extra just hanging out, but we'll tighten it up, throw a little zip ties on there. Absolutely. All right, put a little bit of silicone. All right, nice and snug, not too tight. Well, something you want to add to your all your connections is some dielectric grease. Definitely. Doesn't doesn't hurt. Nope. So you're just gonna dab it right in all the ports. And all that's gonna do is make sure that your uh your watertight and if it gets wet, it's just gonna protect that uh those connections. And we did hook up both the the front lights and the rear lights, the button lights with a Y connector. So they're both gonna be operating off the same switch. So this is, these are the front lights, the rear lights, the Y connector, and it's going into uh, the midship uh, switch, which is what the M stands for. So it's looking a little bit of a hot mess now, but this will get all cleaned up. So right now we're just gonna move it out the way. 
Yeah, beat that Whoa, out. bro, this is uh, family friendly yeah, up in here. Yeah, beat that out. I'm sorry. Who wants me to bleep stuff out, man? Yeah. We, we family friendly. <laughs> My kids watch this. <laughs> We're gonna test the switch out. Ooh. All right. So right now we got the bow lights on, off. Okay, and then we got the midship lights. Bam! Ooh, that looks nice. Feeling that? Look at that. I'm feeling it big time, bro. So pretty much all we have left to do is some some uh, wire management. Get it all nice and neat and tucked in there. And the last port. And the last port. So when we want to do the last port, we can put it wherever we want it. It could be even under your chair, wherever you want. It doesn't matter. Okay. So true. We'll uh, cross that bridge when that comes. So let's do some cable management. Let's do it. We know this is your your bow lights right here. Mm -hmm. Your uh, your button lights. Excuse me. We want to make sure all that's nice and neat. Away from all this. Shit. So I don't want nothing. Damn. Sorry, man. No, fine, I forget, bro. I forget. I forget we're recording. Let's get. Let's get the front ones separate from the back ones. Okay. All right, we're gonna do uh, cable management, zip ties. You could fix anything with zip ties Ooh. and duct tape. That's all you need. And drywall screws. And drywall screws? <laughs> yeah. You could probably make a kayak with just those three items. Let's keep doing it. Look at that. 100 times nicer, and all we did was the, the button lights. Two zip ties on each one. Looking clean. Now we're doing the bow lights. So just with that, that, look how much nicer that looks. Oh yeah. Super organized, bro. Oh yeah. Sticks to the Nice. All right. On there nice and nice and tight. Oh, it's yeah. looking good. Oh, yeah, I like it. Looking clean. That's the final install, folks. Right there on the foam, got cable management on nice, everything on nice and tight. The lights. And now we freshen it up, clean it up, pop out the uh, little shop back again. Oh, right on cue. <laughs> Good. But that's it guys so we got the the install done to sum it up we spliced the wires for the fish finder so now the fish finder plug in directly to the switch we uh, drilled the holes in for the bow lights on either side we did the button lights two in the front two in the rear and we did the power port right over here and i didn't mention i got my little power my sae to usb plug right here so i can plug in my jeep my uh, gopro but uh that's all she wrote guys so clean install again yo shout out to my man fern the f train he hooked it up man so i appreciate you guys watching thank you remember to subscribe to the channel like this video comment let me know how your uh, your installs went let me know what you would do differently, and I'm interested to know how your setup looks. So that's it, guys. Peace and God bless.